Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So across the region, temperatures generally in the same ballpark value, 72 degrees at the airport with a dew point of 67. It's a pretty nice start to the day. Feels pretty comfortable. A lot of sunshine in the forecast for you during these morning hours, followed by a little bit more building cloud cover in inland areas during the afternoon as our sea breeze gets going. Right now, calm winds. We'll watch those winds shift a little more southwest as we head into the afternoon and then eventually northwest. 70 degrees, Wachula, Mayak, Arcadia, 71 in Northport, 67 in Punta Gorda, 74 down in Venice. Inglewood, you've got 73 degrees. Lakewood Ranch is coming in at 72. Parrish and Bradenton both have 71. And Longbow Key comes in at 76. Not much in the way of any kind of precip ongoing at this hour across the peninsula or panhandle. But down in the Florida Straits, there's still a few scattered showers as there has been each and every day for the last couple of days. And then this trough that extends downward from what was Bonnie now located off the uh, eastern seaboard, part of a frontal boundary and such. Now, if you look at the uh, shower pattern from yesterday, you'll notice that most everything was east of the interstate. They just exploded in the afternoon with lots of thunder and lightning and some pretty good downpours of rain as well. The general drift of these storms was very slow, and so they did produce a lot of rain if you happen to be under one of them. But uh, not everybody got rain, and I think as we head into the end of this work week, more and more people will start to see those showers and thunderstorms build as moisture increases. There's the interstate, and not much happening anywhere on either side of it currently, but that'll change this afternoon. With about a 20% coverage east of the interstate, about a 40%, uh, sorry, 20% coverage west of the interstate, and uh, about a 40% coverage east of the interstate. A lot of sunshine, UV index high once again today. If you're traveling, Bonnie, or at least what was left over of it, no longer a tropical system at all, just a cluster of clouds moving off into the northeast. Further and further away from the coastline, the effects of it will be less and less throughout the day today. Showers will be mainly out in Atlantic waters, and we still have some rip current problems up here, but other than that, traveling should not be a real issue. Back to the west, traveling could be an issue because of this area of low pressure and frontal boundary again, having the potential for some severe weather in the center part of the country. High pressure for us brings us light and variable winds to start switching to the west as we head into the afternoon with the sea breeze forming. That high pressure ridge will stay with us over the course of the next few days. We're watching a west wind develop this afternoon, coming in at about 5 to 10 with two-foot seas and a light chop. And the official Suncoast forecast has increasing rain chances toward the end of the week. Back to you.